Hey guys, what's going on? It's David from Monetary Ocean, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys and showing you guys my new hand cart modified uh, book cart. So this is something I've been working on for, uh, I'd say about two weeks. I've been just collecting different things and getting it all ready. Uh, my main goal is to have it ready for this big book sale coming up next week. Today is the 26th, it's the, at the beginning of May. So I wanted to have this book cart ready to go because it's going to be a, book, a big book sale. And uh, in the past, I've gotten lucky with being able to get like boxes and having things work out for me uh, whenever I've been able to find a lot of books at book sale. The last one I went to, I just used uh, my regular, I, I used like a box, like a big box with handles on it, and I put two bags in it, as I'm going to show right here. And so that's what I just had, and it was quite heavy. Like this was a lot of books I was able to find. Uh, which is a good thing, but I didn't really have a good way to get them from the book sale to my vehicle, which was quite a walk. So, I wanted to put this together, and the first piece that I have is the actual hand cart itself, hand truck, whatever you want to call it. This is the Magna cart. I got it for a couple of different reasons. So the first reason I got this is it's relatively cheap, and the second reason, which is a huge aspect, is the durability of these wheels. So check out these wheels. They're really, uh, compare, if you look at other hand carts and other uh, carts with crates on them, they have really cheap looking plasticky wheels and I was trying to avoid that at all costs. We're carrying around a lot of heavy items and you know this is basically your profit that you're hauling around. You don't want to put it at risk of uh, falling off the cart or something happening to it and you know losing dollars potentially if you have to lower, it, uh, lower your grade of book that you're selling. So that's why I wanted to have a really good base foundation. The other reason I got this one is because of how wide the actual um, scoop holder, like the bottom part is. So this is, compared to like the other ones I found at like Harbor Freight, Walmart, they all like kind of went inward and this one stays out for the most part. So it has a lot to grab. So this is what the whole thing is gonna look like right here. So this is the Magna Cart right here, all folded down. My my specifications that I was looking for is something that was very uh, compactable so I could put it in like my trunk and have it not take up very much room and just basically have it with me at all times. So this folds up really flat and I can just lay this at the bottom of my trunk. Basically it folds out like this, wheels pop out. And then once it's folded out, you can pop this up and make it a full uh, regular hand truck. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the full build I have going on here. So the first layer is gonna be this big tub, right? So this is gonna have the bulk of the items in it right here. Secured with the lid. Most of this stuff I was able to find at Goodwill Outlet, which you pay by the pound. So most of the stuff I got was very, very cheap. Uh, obviously it's gonna cost a little bit different for each person depending on what they buy and when they buy it. But I always try to buy things as cheap as possible. So I've got these bungee cords right here. These are all dollar store. So one dollar for all these bungee cords. Granted, they're not the greatest bungee cords, but for this exact situation, they work perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead, actually, change this up a little bit. So this is actually the first time building this up completely. I did a test fit earlier just to make sure it worked how I wanted it, but this is the first time actually building it live. Alright, so that's pretty secure on there. Next up, I've got these two crates. So this is going to be a standard file crate. So I actually found uh, these at Walmart. I'm not sure exactly how much they are. Uh, they're relatively cheap, but I got this at the outlet. So it was, let me feel, so probably about a dollar, maybe two max. The thing I like about this two combo, I actually found this at an outlet as well. So this was actually just a dollar straight up. So this is just a small cube one. This is more of a rectangle. So this fits right here. This on all parts will fit. If you can see in there, there's like a railing, which is basically for um, uh, when you're filing manila folders and stuff and they have those little uh, holders on the sides. That's what that's for. So 
this fits in here perfectly. And I have a uh, bungee cord going through it to then bungee cord around these. So here we go. This is the full build right here. I know it looks super ghetto, but guess what? It works. So uh, I actually did a little bit of testing with it with books, and I was able to fill up all the containers and still easily uh, maneuver the cart, and it all folds down pretty well. The only problem I have is the gray crate, it, while the black one does fit inside the gray one, they both don't fit inside the tub right there, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, Hopefully I can find some different crates uh, in the future that'll work, but for now this will work perfectly fine. Everything fits inside my trunk uh, very well, and I can still use my other boxes that I was using before with no problem. So here's a full walk around. So I can just go ahead and pop this bad boy up. And get going with some books real easily. So there's that. So I have these bungee corded. And that just gets bungee corded all the way around. So yeah, this is pretty much going to be a permanent fixture whenever I go to book sales from here on out. So if you guys enjoyed this content, go ahead and drop a like, drop a comment. I do answer, reply to every single comment that comes through. So if you have a question for me, go ahead and drop it down there. Or if you want to talk to me personally, uh, go to my Instagram at Monetary Ocean, shoot me a DM, and we can talk on there. I'm pretty open. I'll talk to anyone about just about anything. So just let me know if you have any questions about anything, uh, e-commerce, Amazon, whatever. So thanks again for checking out the video. Don't wait, guys. Dive in.